what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today's episode 112 and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at earnings that we have coming up this week but specifically we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of the most anticipated stocks we're going to dive deeper into the charts and we're just going to look at their earnings history and kind of take a look at where we think it's going to go so the stock that we're going to focus on today in this video it's a pet company called Chewy, and this stock has been trending for the last couple of weeks leading up to earnings. They're reporting earnings on Wednesday pre-market, which is going to be tomorrow. But before we dive into that, let's go ahead and just briefly take a look at what's going on for the, the rest of the week. All right, so today is Tuesday. We do have Kava after close. We also have Box after close. Those are the two companies that I'm familiar with. Then going into Wednesday, pre-market, we do have Chewy, all right, which I just spoke about. And then we have Dick's Sporting Goods, which is trying to do like the whole sneaker slash hunting, fishing type thing. And it seems to be working out for this company. They seem to be crushing it. Then we have Advanced Auto Parts, all right? A lot of people don't pay attention to these auto parts companies, but they be killing it on the low and supposedly, it's one of the few industries that's kind of like um, Amazon proof, I guess. You know, something about auto parts, but Amazon just can't seem to nail it right. All right. So we do have advanced auto parts on Wednesday pre-market. Then Wednesday after close, we have the mega tech company, which is Salesforce. All right. So this is a software company that makes enterprise software focused primarily around customer interaction, customer service, sales, that type of stuff. Huge company, always crush it, so you wanna pay attention to that. The ticker symbol for Salesforce is CRM. Then we jump into Thursday, and we do have Foot Locker, pre-market, Best Buy, pre-market, and we also have Kohl's, all right? We have Hormel, and we have Burlington. So we have a couple of these retail companies, and then we have Cracker Barrel as well. And then Thursday after close, we do have Costco, which is another giant. Uh, we do have Dell Computers. And we also have Alta, which is another company that you guys want to pay attention to. All right. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for earnings. You know, Friday is pretty much kind of like blah. So let's go ahead and jump into Robin Hood and let's pull up Chewy. All right, so we do have Chewy pulled up here on the charts. And like I said, if you look at Chewy, I would say like over the last month, the stock has just been trending up a couple of peaks here. All right, we're at 16. And we go to 1631, 1641, 17, and then it kind of dipped back down. So I'm looking for it to go back up to this um, area. And if it goes back up to this area and breaks, then it's probably going to go back up to its all-time high or somewhere close to that. And we could just play the run up on options. All right. Now, over max time, this company is actually down 24%. Um, this company, it's it's a pet supply company, kind of just like, you know, Petco or whatever. This company sells a lot of toys for like your dogs, your cats, lizards, whatever. And they sell like a lot of... Um, like wellness products as well so the company has been trending for the last couple of weeks and i'm pretty sure it's going to be based around the anticipation for earnings that's coming up all right so let's go ahead now and just um take a look at the chart and see exactly what's going on right. so we do have chewy pulled up here in trading view and we do have it on the daily all right so we're just going to take a look at some key levels but right now we have a major channel here so this is going to be resistance and then we're going to have the support down here so support's going to be around like 1452 all right and then major resistance if it runs all the way up is around like the 25 dollar mark uh, right now this is where we're at so we're somewhere around here 16 and some change and then we have this line here which is going to be a key level which is 17. All 
All right, so we got 17 marked here as a key level. So this is a line that you want to pay attention to. Now, if it breaks out of this line, then it's going to go to this next line, which is going to be $18, right? Which, as you guys can see, these lines have been touched a couple of times. So if it smashes this line, then it's going to go even further and go up to the $20 mark. So from here, 16 to 20, you can make a lot of money if you're playing options. The key is to watch exactly what's going on. Now, you don't have much time to play the run up. You have a day. So you have pretty much today and then you have tomorrow. So I would check, set your alerts at say the 17 mark. And if it breaks that level, you could probably enter and then play the run up leading up to you know earnings and then get out before it just depends on your strategy you, you know let's say you have 10 contracts you maybe could sell eight and then leave leave two to run however you want to do it but um i personally i don't play calls you know going over earnings or going into earnings leaving leaving it overnight for earnings i i just don't do it it's risky and you're gambling at that point but you know they say with great risk comes great reward so you know the ball is in your court um so like i said i think this level is going to be key 17 all right now this low level here at 14 no immediate data at this point indicating but if it smashes this 14 level it's going to slide and this obviously would happen if it misses earnings now, if we go back to Robinhood, we scroll down here. You guys can see they have been killing. Look at that. Beat, beat, beat. And just look at the massive gap between the dark green circle and the light green circle. Huge. So they've just been crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. So I'm anticipating again that they're probably going to crush it. You know, I don't see why they wouldn't. You know, but for some reason, like I said, this company just seems to be really, really popular and they just seem to be killing it. All right. So let's go ahead now and take a look at the at playing the potential um, $17 call on Chewy. So we're going to go down here. We're going to click trade options. Right. And we're looking for the $17 call. So here we have it. The expiration date is going to be May 31st. And if we go ahead and we click on this, right, we'll see right now for this call, you're going to be paying $99. Remind you, I'm doing this video before the market's open. So it's 8.47 in the morning. So the market's not open yet. When the market's open, it would change. Um, so we have the bid, the ask, the mark. What I don't like here is this volume. Volume says 510, and you guys know I like a four digit volume, so I would like to see the volume at least a thousand or higher. Open interest is at my volume, which is 3,984. Implied volatility looks really, really good. All right, that's 183 percent, so I actually like that. The delta is decent, it's 0.48, which is about average. You know, you're gonna get something around 0.50, something this. Around this area, this close to um, the actual asset price. So that's about normal. And then we have theta at 17, which is lower. So that's what we want to see. So I would wait till market opens and then watch this volume area to see if it increases, see how it starts to move. And then I'd go from there. But that's, that's the call I would look at to getting if I was looking to play the run up today and then going into tomorrow. I would look at that call because, like I said before, as far as Chewy is concerned, you're able to play this up pretty much for all of today because tomorrow it's going to be, which is Wednesday, it's pre-market. So if you're playing the run-up, you got to play it today and get out today because tomorrow earnings going to be pre-market for Chewy. All right, but that's... That's essentially what I would do in terms of uh, playing this actual call. Like I said, the stock is trending. So I would definitely keep a close eye on Chewy. All right. And that's it for the video today, guys. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, 
please consider subscribing. I make new videos like this every day. Go ahead and like this video and also share this video with a family member or friend. Thanks again for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. Y'all stay safe and have a blessed day. Peace.